Uh, good morning, everyone, and welcome to Toolbox Tuesday. Today, we're going to be touching on the topic of personal protective equipment. Now, I say touching on the topic because there's a lot to know when it comes to PPE. Maintenance, selection, inspection, type, proper fit, supply, task at hand, legislation, training, the list goes on. Uh, for the limited time we have together today, I thought it would be best to just shed some light on the basics. The first thing to note is that PPE is not your first line of defense, it's your last. Whether you refer to your hierarchy of controls or to your OHS regulations, you'll see that PPE is necessary when it's not reasonably practicable to protect health and safety of the workers by other means, such as elimination, substitution, engineering, or administrative controls. That being said, PPE is still an important line of defense and is important to know how to select and care for, as well as to know the limitations of the PPE you are using. All right, well, let's get into the basics. Eye protection. There's no such thing as a second chance when it comes to preventing incidents involving the eyes. That is why it is important to select the right type of eye and face protection. Eye and face protection are designed for specific hazards. Regardless of the type of protection selected, it is important to wear at all times and to examine regularly before the start of each workday, for example. Ensure that the protection is clean and free of scratches that could hamper vision. Foot protection. CSA approved protective footwear is required on all construction sites. Proper footwear can help avoid twists and strains, prevent slips, and protect feet from falling objects and boot punctures. Select foot protection according to the task and potential hazard. Approved safety footwear will have the Canadian Standards Association a green triangle on the side or tongue of the boot or shoe. Inspect footwear regularly to ensure it continues to provide the traction and the protection it was designed. Head protection. Hard hats are a standard issue and required on all construction sites. To work properly, they must be fitted securely on the top of the head and bands adjusted to ensure the suspension system distributes the load evenly over the entire head. Best industry practice is to wear the hard hat with the brim facing forward. Safety headwear must be inspected regularly prior to use and should be replaced when the suspension system is worn or the shell is punctured, split, or cracked. Hearing protection. Exposure to excessive noise may create permanent hearing loss. It is important to wear hearing protection that is appropriate to the task. This may include foam earplugs or earmuffs or both. Always ensure that hearing protection is worn as the manufacturer requires. Not paying attention to how it is inserted, maintained, and used could compromise hearing and damage the ear canal. Remember, long-term exposure to seemingly low noise may cause irreversible damage to hearing. Similarly, uh, to single exposure, high levels of noise. Once the damage is done, a hearing aid or lip reading may be your only option for daily conversations. Specialized protection. Every trade has its own hazards. Specialized PPE may be required for some of those hazards. Uh, this may include a form of respiratory protection, uh, which could include a simple dust mask, or maybe a, a full self-containing breathing apparatus is required. Um, hand protection could be required, for example, in the handling of toxic chemicals or when using a knife. Special clothing may have to be worn due to exposure to high temperatures or flames. Personal fall arrest systems and full body harness uh, for working at heights. Um, education is key. Know the hazards that may be encountered and wear the proper PPE when required. Specialized PPE options vary in set, uh, design and function. Specific training on the specific uh, specialized PPE will be required so that the workers are using it properly and understand the care, use, maintenance, and limitations of that specific piece of PPE. As I said, PPE can be a lengthy topic. We've only scratched the surface when it comes to personal protective equipment. Your company safety program should be your best resource for learning all you need to know in regards to your PPE. Guidelines for your PPE, such as selection, care and maintenance, inspections and replacement, should be found throughout the safety program. 
orientations, safe job procedures, safe work practices, required training, toolbox talks, safety meetings, and your personal protective equipment policies. These are all great methods of learning as well as teaching more about the rights and responsibilities when it comes to PPE uh, or any other safety matter. Having trouble locating it in your company safety manual or need to beef up your safety program or just getting started? Uh, check us out at scsaonline.ca. From there you'll gain access to a lot of great resources such as advisory services, um, documents, forms, and legislation, news articles, and toolbox talks. You'll also find links to our YouTube and Facebook pages, where you'll find a variety of safety presentations, including more in-depth versions of specific PPE, such as gloves, masks, and fall protection. Uh, and that wraps up the toolbox talk for today, um, short and sweet. Like I said, um, there, there's a lot to know, uh, you know, for example, you know, you, you grab your hard hat, you, you're ready to put it on, you're doing your inspection and you're seeing symbols and you're seeing type E, uh, you're seeing the circular motion on there. Um, you know, I'm going to leave that as an open question as to what those means. Contact your advisor. We got a great demonstration on hard hats. Um, we also have a great demonstration on uh, safety glasses. How do you know that these are safety glasses? Like what makes this different than any other safety glasses? Um, want to learn more about gloves? Uh, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, cut five resistant glove is what your company tells you. Um, what does cut five mean? What does ANSI mean? Um, these are all uh, great PPE questions that you should find uh, in your safety manual. Or um, like I said, contact an advisor and we can do personalized toolbox talks and um, demonstrations on PPE. Um, thanks again uh, and see you next Tuesday for our toolbox talk on complacency. Bye for now.